Good evening, YouTube. It's Joe from Mega News Reader, and uh, I wanted to briefly uh, put out a video about some of the articles I've been finding on geoengineering and um, climate change and global warming and uh, weather modification mitigation. Um, I stumbled across this article in BBC News and there's no author and there's no date however it does have some pretty incredible things to say about tackling climate change with technology um, I'm just gonna go ahead and read it to you and show you some of the illustrations that I think are poignant and worth noting um, first uh, it is called tackling climate change with technology Scientists have been looking for ways of modifying the Earth's environment to control global warming. It's known as geoengineering. One way to do this simply to reflect more of the sun's light, changing the Earth's reflectivity or albedo. Simply to reflect more of the sun's light. In other words, they want to block the nutrients, the vitamins, the healing energy, the heat um, from the sun. And they're doing this under the guise of helping you. This could be attempted using vast, flexible space reflectors placed in orbit around the Earth. Alternatively, various types of, quote, stratospheric aerosols could be released in the upper atmosphere to scatter some light back out into space. Earthbound reflectors could do the same. Now, right there, when they talk about stratospheric aerosols, they're talking about airplanes injecting microscopic particulate into the air that we breathe. Now, they don't say chemtrails. They don't come out and say, hey, chemtards, you're actually right. They're not going to come out and tell you that all of the people who have been fired from their jobs for talking about this, all of the people who have been chastised, all the people who have been marginalized uh, from their friends and their community, the local police, uh, for talking about chemtrails. They're not going to come out and use your language. They're not going to call it chemtrails. They're going to call it stratospheric aerosols. You, you know, stand on the corner and you're like, hey, look at these stratospheric aerosols. No one is going to know what you're talking about, but you would be technically correct. Another approach is to directly reduce the atmospheric carbon that, among other things, leads to temperature rises. This could be done by fertilizing the ocean stimulating the uptake of carbon by surface algae that would eventually sink to the ocean floor, exposing the surfaces of carbonate and silicate rocks in enhanced weathering. Could provide a place for carbon to be absorbed. Another frequently mentioned proposal is the capture of carbon dioxide from the air using artificial trees, followed by liquefaction and storage probably in underground reservoirs. There is no single geoengineering silver bullet that should be pursued as an all-encompassing solution to climate change, says the UK's Royal Society in its analysis of the cost of a range of proposals compared with their efficiency. Stratospheric aerosols, here we go again, chemtrails. Stratospheric aerosols seem to offer the most effect for the least investment. Hmm and could be deployed soon, but present an unknown risk to the environment. Oh. Hmm. Changes to the desert surface albedo are projected to be more effective than ocean fertilization, but both could change delicate ecosystems in unexpected ways. Yeah.